So, this season hasn't quite gone to plan just yet, but there's still hope. And let's see if we can actually turn it around. Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emerald here. Welcome back to another battle in FIFA. Still having to get used to the fact that it's like not the something, it's FIFA, just a word. But uh, yeah, welcome back. We're here for our week five battle. We're up against Wolf Turds, coach of the Detroit Red Wingles. Uh, which, you know, thank God I actually looked at the name this time because last week I got it completely wrong. Not, not my brightest moment. But yeah, really big matchup this week, you guys. We're one and three. We really need to string two wins together here to get us back to 500. If the sooner we do it, the more likelihood we have a, a shot at making playoffs. So we're kind of almost in a do or die situation at this point. Well, I know we're only halfway point, halfway through the season, but if we're able to finish week five, two and three, there's still a good chance we can make the playoffs. But if we're here one and four, we've got to be honest, we have to be almost near perfect for the rest of the season. So let's hope for the best. But anyways, the team they're up against, uh, you can see on the screen here now, uh, consists of Lando T, Megazard X, Roland Wash, Toxapex, Runiclis, Togekiss, Superior, Copper Aja, Obstagoon, and Carbink. Now there's a couple of really classic old school threats here, you guys. You have your Lando T, you have your Zardex, and you have your Runiclis. Now, because Runiclis is, you know, bulky, it can hit really hard, it is a threat. Togekiss is there on NASA plot, that's also a problem. And, you know, we have Surf there as well with the contrary, which is not great. Obstagoon as well with Guts, Flame Orb, that's also a bit of an issue. But he's got some really old school powerful wall breakers and we need to be able to break through that. So with that in mind you guys, I'm just going to run quickly through the team that we have this week and hopefully it'll do the job for us. Up first we have Rainbow the Milotic, Rockin' Out, Recover, Dragon Tail, Flip, Turn, Ice Beam with the Flame Orb. Uh, we have enough defense EVs that if we're burned, like we should be able to wall any kind of Lando T set and any kind of Mega Zard set, which is really, really good. And the rest of that then is put into a little bit of special attack and a little bit of spadef. The special attack is supposed to guarantee to get a one hit KO on the uh, defense of Lando. And that's pretty important for us. If we're able to get that uh, one hit KO with the Ice Beam, beautiful stuff. Lando's not an issue anymore and we're able to kind of pivot around that. After that, we have Rosie our Rose Raid, and this week we're going really offensive with it. 220 speed EVs, 252 attack. Uh, the speed EVs basically just allow us to outspeed. Uh, is it Road and Wash, if I remember correctly? Offensive Road and Wash. But uh, Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, Extra Sensory, and Spikes with the Life Orb is the play this week. Extra Sensory plus uh, Leaf Storm will be able to kill a Fizz Death Toxapex. If it's not, then we know it's Spadef, and that's something that we need to keep note of, which is fantastic. Sludge Bomb Death for Toxapex, and it spikes. What's really beautiful about this Rose Raid um, set this week is that Rose Raid does work. He hasn't got a really clean switch into it. If he does bring the Spadef Toxapex, you know, we can get spikes up once we know that that's the switch in. And other than that, like, it's not great for him. He's always going to be taking big damage with Rose Raid, and that's beautiful. After that, we have Colossus, the Mega Agron, rocking out with Heavy Slam, Body Press, Stealth Rocks, and Ice Punch. This is a very standard Mega Agron set. It can tank a bunch of hits, stops. Togekiss from running rampant, stops Copper Aja from running rampant, can take a hit from Milando T and Oko or Ice Punch, and we get free rocks. Basically, that's all we're here to do with this uh, with Colossus. It's a beautiful, wonderful thing. No need to go too crazy with it. That's all we're doing here. After that, we're rocking out with Sylvie the Sylveon, full Fizz Death set here. Basically, our special wall to again help us deal with the Rodan Washes, your Togekisses, your Munichisses of the world, all that kind of good stuff. Rocking out Hyper Voice, Wish, Heal Bell, and Baton Pass. You guys are probably wondering why you're rocking out Heal Bell and Flame Orb Milotic, because it does seem a little bit counterintuitive. But Wolf Turds is able to set up uh, Toxic Spikes, he's able to set up Toxic quite a bit on our team, and we will eventually get one down with that. So the idea here would be that we, if we're able to click Heal Bell on Sylveon, that doesn't become an issue anymore. We're able to click Heal Bell and just eliminate all that kind of, kind of status conditions and Milotic would be able to get the flame orb again if, if we're still holding it so that's the idea behind that. Next up we're bringing Miyamoto to Yoshifu and I know I am not using this Pokemon to its full potential and it's something that I'm very very worried about I know it's a big thing that we need to do. The big problem I'm finding with this is that most weeks I need it to be carrying Sucker Punch or some other kind of move and I need to be able to switch moves and it's hindered me in able to really use like Bandit or something extraordinarily offensive and it's been a bit of an issue, but I know we got to get more out of Yoshifu if we want to be successful with, successful with this team. But this week we're rocking out a Sucker Punch, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, and Iron Head. Iron Head hits both Togekiss 
and carbink. Carbink can sit in front of uh, your Shifu and wallet for days if you do not have iron head. So that's what this thing is here for. And then after that, hopefully we're able to do a bit of work. So a good point is basically just to stop any kind of source dancing rock polishing set from Zard Orlando being in the problem. And that's, the, that's what that's there for. And last but not least, we are rocking out with a Soul Jewel Latios Combine Dragon Pulse Psychic Aura Sphere. This thing can do a whole load of work here. He hasn't got too many mons that are able to sit in front of Latios and take hits. So we should be able to sit in front of something, click Combine, and Latios should be able to break through anything. The real big issue actually that kind of can wall us would be Copper Agile, and that's the reason why we have to run Aura Sphere. If we didn't have Copper Agile on a squad, Honestly, I'd be running Roost here and I'd just be combining and roosting up on a bunch of different stuff and that'll be what we'd be rocking out with. But yeah guys, that's the team. Let's get up on out of here and let's get in right into the battle. Alright you guys, here we are in the battle. Looks like we're going to be up against Toxapex, Rodan Wash, Lando T, Superior, Obstagoon and Reuniclus. A couple of the threats here that are a little bit uh, difficult to deal with but hopefully we should be able to not do too bad. I look at his squad off the top of my head and I see that he doesn't really have a clean answer into Rose Ray. So Rose Ray is able to do a whole load of work for us here between Pex and Rotom. Lando a bit of an issue but we should be able to kind of deal with that and Serp is not able to come in on Rose Ray either. So Rose Ray is able to do quite a bit of work here. Obstacle we got to be very careful with but we, sh we should have speed to be able to deal with that and Lando team might be scarfed here because I don't see him having a an out and out scarfer so kind of interesting. One thing I realized late, late, lately and that I've been missing out that I used to be doing quite well is I used to be very better at analyzing my opponent from start to finish and I need to get back to being able to analyze what my opponent is doing from start to finish. So bear with me now if I'm, I'm actually taking this a little bit more seriously and I do spend a lot more time analyzing my opponent in between turns. Uh, I think previously I was so worried about the timer I was just kind of just get my moves in but I've noticed for me to get back to that level, got to be analysing what my opponent's going to be doing a little bit more regularly. I think Pex might be spadef invested, but we'll kind of see what we go out with. Now, if I look at his team, he might want to lead with Rotom or Lando. Um, I won't. I don't really want to lead with my Milotic because he might lead with Rotom, and if that's the case, that's going to force a switch in. So I primarily really wants to lead with my Agron and go for the Ice Punch if he leads with it. Um, if he leads with the Lando, but if he leads with Rotom, he he will get a burn off, and I don't particularly want that. So I think we lead with Melodic here, right? I think we lead with Melodic. If he leads, actually no, it's I think we lead with Sylveon. Yeah, we lead with Sylveon. We we'll go with that, as he did indeed lead with his uh, Lando T. That's fair enough, right? Now I do not really want to have my Melodic lose its. Flame, uh, it's flame up just yet, so I want to be a little bit more careful here. But I also do not want us to uh, get, take a huge hit off this thing, so a little bit of an issue here. For turn one obviously not, didn't go great for us. Probably should have led with Agron. Now that I think about it, I do not want to hard switch into my Lotic here. Uh, let me take a quick look here. If this Lando is a choice scarf set, what does he do to my Sylveon? Again, guys, I'm going to apologize here. I have to be, I have to take this a little bit more seriously. <laughs> well, not that I wasn't taking it seriously before, but I have to just start being clever. I have to be a bit more smarter. He's going to be doing about 50% to me uh, if he's full. So I think we just do go for the baton pass as he goes for U-turn. That's fine. I'll gladly take you that U-turn all day. It means that I'm able to get momentum on my side. Which is perfectly fine. I apologize for that, guys. I should have my phone on mute. Not used to battling at this time of the of the weekend, guys. If I'm being honest, normally I'm like relaxing. I've like had a couple of beers by now, but I'm I'm so yeah. I know, right? An Irish guy sober, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully I'm focused, man. I'm like I want to get this win. Let's see what he switches out into. He's probably try, like, what is he switching here? I'm not too sure. What I really like here, he actually switched into this, his superior. Uh, now he has no real mon that would like to come in on my Roserade. So pardon me, wouldn't mind going into Roserade here. And I think we do that. I do think we do that. Now I'm just going to get my, I think we just get a layer of spikes off here. I can't see him wanting to do any kind of shenanigans at this point. I'm not going to go for the Sludge Bomb, I'm just going to get my spikes off. Scout what that, uh, what's it switching here to us, right? It's not the end of the world if he switches in Pex, you know, not the end of the world. Uh, I just kind of want to scout what, what does he want to do, you know? If, we, if I can get one layer of spikes off, grand, grand like, you know, it's going to eventually chip away at his team. He does indeed go into Pex. Okay, fair enough. Part of me wouldn't mind going out into my Agron here, but I don't want to take a burn. So I think I am going to go out into my Monarch. 
And as he gets up, his layer of toxic spikes. I get my burn off. And I'm just going to kick Dragon Tail. See if we can just pivot around here a little bit. A little bit. Now, these layer of toxic spikes, there, they are an issue. And that was something that we did highlight, you know, before the battle. It's important that we were able to get, like, Rose Ray to just switch out of that. He brings in his Rotom. We miss the Dragon Tail. Now, that blows for us, right? But at least I know why his switch in there is. I'm going to go out to my Rose Ray. Just absorb these toxic spikes as he might want to go for Defog. Now, if he goes for Defog, then I know what this kind of thing it wants to do to me. He's going to go for the full switch. Does he go back out into Pex? That's, I'm curious. We'll see. Now, we do have to break through Pex. Pex is a bit of an issue for us, but we should be able to break through it. We'll see. We have Latios, right? That can just sit in front of Pex and set up, right? It's just a matter of trying to pivot into Latios at the right time. And when we can do it, then we just go for it. He brings in his Obstagoon with the Flame Orb. All right, okay. Now, since he doesn't have Zardex, Lando could be Scarfed, so we've got to be a little bit more careful here. Rose Ray just does so much, like so, so much. Can I bring in my Lonic? Can I go for the Leaf Storm on Obstagoon? Let's say he's Obstagoon, it looks like he's Guts uh, up against my Roserade. Can I bring in my, can my Roserade live, live a hit here? We ain't living a facade or a knockoff or a close combat. Now, because he has close combat, he might go for that. I can't really live any of those hits. Uh, can my Sylveon live any of those hits? Because I wouldn't mind keeping my Milotic around here. Can my Sylveon live any of these hits? It cannot live a facade. This thing does problem. This thing's a problem. Straight up, this thing is a problem. We might have to go into Milotic. Uh, and if we do, we do. Like that's like that. that if we do, we do. Uh, let me actually get up like my Milotic set rather than just the custom one. I think we might have to bring in our own Milotic, which most definitely does suck because he's going to get damage off on us definitely will suck now that's this is if he's adamant right and more likely he is jolly okay so he has a chance to a kios here this this is a problem guys i won't lie this is a problem do, 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 do. Uh, i am going to bring in my Lodic, right as he is facade he does 45 percent it's a roll here guys i won't lie it's a roll and i'm not a big fan of it thinking he's going to go facade here I think he has to go for sad, right? So I'm going to go into my Agron. Yeah, I'm going to go into my Agron. As he goes for sad, yeah. And we eat that. We eat that. That's perfectly fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm going to Mega Evolve. And his switch in here is probably Lando. But I can't really... I cannot go for anything other than... Let me go... Let me have a look at my Agron set here. I can't really go for anything other than... Do, 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 do. I cannot really go for anything other than Body Press, I don't think. Yeah, I have to go Body Press. I'm no, I'm no choice but to. So I am going to go body press here. As looks like he stayed in. Went for the fling. And I get burned because he, he just threw his um, flame over at me. So obviously like he thinks my aggron is nerfed. But I got the heat bell sitting in the back. And this is one of his main offensive threats that are gone guys. So that's pretty big for us. That's I'll take that. That's a, that's a trade I can take because we have heat bell in the back. If I can go for the heat bell later on. Brilliant. And I have to be very careful on the obstacle. We couldn't just go for anything there really without being... Too careful like you know so i'm happy with that now what he does here it's gonna be interesting we'll see does he go into lando and any, do any of that kind of shenanigans does he go into rotom does he go into pex i don't know if he went into pex here i wouldn't mind going for the for rocks and just kind of chip away at him see what it does he might want to go into rotom wash here if he does we can go on to sylveon uh see what it does he might go into wash and then just full switch around if he does do that, then Sylveon can, Sylveon can come in for free, get a wish off, get a heebel off. Right, that'd be pretty nice. Does go out to this Reuniclus. Okay, and... Do, 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 do. See, I don't know what you want to do to me just yet. So, pardon me, wouldn't mind just kicking rocks. And you go... You, you, ah, okay. Alright, I'll see you, big dog. I see you. I'm going to go out to my Sylveon here. I want to get the heebel off. Reuniclus, as I said, this thing is a problem, but we have... We have Miyamoto here all day that can do anything, but now he might he might be Cold Barberry. That is a a issue. That is a issue, but he might uh, he might be Cold Barberry. As he goes for the Shadow Ball. Okay, we we eat that. Like the, we we just tank that hit. It's ridiculous. Um let me heal about up. And that's that's a couple of burns just gone there. As he goes for another calm mind. I'm gonna get my lefties up a little bit. And I think I can go Baton Pass. I'm going to go Wish Baton Pass. As that definitely did hurt me. But I think we just go hard into Milotic here and we go for the... 
We should be able to eat any hit, right? We should be able to hit. We should be able to live a side shock. We should be able to live a shadow ball here, even at plus two. Thank you very much. We'll get that wish back up. That's beautiful. And we get our flame orb back up as well. And I am just going to go for the dragon tail here. Just get this thing out of my face at yeah, plus two. I don't want to deal with it. Who's going to come in? Serp is going to come in here and take that um, damage. We know his lefties as well. Still don't know what that Reuniclus set is. Uh, looks like he's Magic Guard actually because he took no damage caught from the spikes. So he's Magic Guard rather than Regenerator. That's good to know. I'm going to go out onto my Rose right here right off the bat. I want to see what he wants to do here. Goes for the sub. If he stays here too long, like he's probably sub, Leech Seed, Leaf Storm, Dragon Pulse maybe. Uh, I am just going to go for the Switch Bomb though. As he go yeah, he does have the Dragon Pulse. Doesn't do too much to me. That's fine by me. As he might see that I'm life form now. Who do you go into, son? Who do you go into? Um, I'm just, I wouldn't mind clicking sub one more time. Or like sludge, sludge bomb, not sub. Another power wouldn't mind clicking extra sensory. But I am gonna, I, you know, I am just gonna click sludge bomb. Brings in this Lando. Lando will not be too keen on taking this. Thirty-eight percent. I'll, I take thirty-eight percent all day. That's perfectly fine. Now I would like to keep this thing alive, right? I would like to keep this thing alive. He might want to go U-turn here. What does Lando do to me here? He's after getting a nice little bit of chip on me, which definitely does suck. Uh, what does Lando want to do to me? Don't know what this set is just yet. I just know he's got U-turn. Earthquake will kill if he goes for it. Earthquake, earth, earthquake will kill if he goes for it. So that is a problem. Now I am keeping my Mimo on the back here. Sucker Punch will be able to knock this thing out. Rosary is very low. Sylveon is very low. My, 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 my bulk has gone very, very low here. So I'm a little bit shy. I won't. I'm not going to deny it. A little bit shy about dealing with it. I want to keep Rose Raid around for because it can still do lots of work for me here. Part of me is thinking, do we go out into our Reuniclus? Not our Reuniclus, our Latios. I think that might be a nice uh, nice plan. I don't want to go into Agron hard here. I truly told I do not want to go into Agron hard. But if I look at his squad, I think that Sylveon might be the mind that we could sack here because, yeah, I think Sylveon is the mind we sack, so we'll, we'll do that as it goes for U-turn. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with that. Who do you go into? Pex? S Serp? I'm, I'm not too sure. You go into your superior. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm thinking we just click Hyper Voice here. I do not want this thing to set up a SD. So I want to click Hyper Voice. Let's go. Yeah, I think we go Hyper Voice. Sorry, not SD. So I think we click Hyper Voice here. If he gets the plus two, he gets the plus two, right? I think that's the... I think that's the aim of the game. Can we go into Rose Raid? I'm not too sure. I think we just click Hyper Voice. He does go Leaf Storm. We live! Wow, Sylveon! The Bulker! The bulk is insane! Jesus! Right. Pity we didn't grab the kill there, but I am just going to go for it again. He does break my you know, Sylveon here, but this thing isn't coming in again. Well, I think he might. I'm just going to go into my Miyamoto. And I am going to click Sucker Punch here. Not going to think twice about this. Just click Sucker Punch. Shit, actually, he might go sub. Never thought about that. I never thought about that. Da, and I just, I rushed it. And I, I even said at the start of the battle, oh, you got to be careful. you got to be analysing your opponent way more. And I, but I bottled it. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, God, because these guys are better um, than what I'm used to playing. i got to be, i got to raise my game. I am going to click Sucker Punch here. As, whew, thank God. <laughs> Okay, that's, that didn't work out too bad. I was so scared, scared he was going to kick sub. What, I'm not going to deny it, guys, that he was a threat. He was a straight up threat, but it is what it is. Lando is going to come in here, take rocks damage. I can just sucker punch that away at this point. So Lando has been worn down. This is good, you guys, Like, and the rest of his team can't touch my calm mind Lando. So if, because I'm assuming he's Scarf Lando, right? So it's just a matter of being able to pivot around here a little bit. If he brings in Lando, then like, like the, here's the thing guys, what does he do? If he brings in Lando, like we, I have the sucker punch on my Yushifu to do a little bit of work. He brings this thing in, which I'm perfectly fine with. I think he might both switch here. I'm just, try, I'm just trying to think about this end game here now, you guys. I think it is Latios to win here. Don't know what this thing wants to do to me yet. Because I haven't, I, he's not lefties because he came in on those rocks and took damage. And he's not heavy duty boots. He might be Scarfed. And I think Reuniclus might be Cobra Berry. Now, if you're Scarfed, right? Let's just say he's Scarfed. Let's just say he's Scarfed, right? Out of curiosity, if he's Scarfed, Rotom Wash, Choice Scarf up against my, your Shifu, right? How much is he doing to me? He... I could definitely go for the uh, A hit here and live it. Unless he's choice specs. Unless he's choice specs. 
but I have enough HP with Lando to be able to live a Choice Scarf Lando T hit. And Ladio, and if he's banded, then Ladio can kill it with Psychic. So I think I can go for the little wicked blow here. And I think I will. Right, okay, I now know what he is. He's definitely he's definitely not uh, a, any sort of offensive set. He's got defensive both, which is perfectly fine by me. We have to literally break him through that Rotom. Which is beautiful. I'll take that all day. I will take that all day. Toxpex takes a little bit of damage there. I'm okay with that. Uh, if Toxpex is in. Uh, do, 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 do. He might want to go for a T spike here. Part of me really wants to just bring in Latios and just start taking moves, if I'm being honest. But I don't think I need to rush it. I don't think I need to rush it. I think I'll bring in my Monotic and just uh, re recover up here as he goes for the Scald. That's fine. Um, I am just going to click recover, get my HP all the way back up. All the way back up. That's what we're going to do. Sets up his layer T spikes. Fine by me. Because uh, I can click. He might click Scald here again. I'm just going to go for another. I'm, yeah, sorry, I went for the Dragon Tail. <laughs> um, he does get the. Um, we do drag in this thing. I am going to click. Um, can I click Flip Turn and kill here? Can I click Flip Turn and kill here? He can't kill me with the Earthquake, so he has to click U Turn. So I can uh, Flip Turn. Doesn't kill. So I think I click Dragon Tail again. Drag something else in. Or no, we click Recover. We click Recover. He does go for the U turn, yeah. Because he might bring the Reuticus and try and set up in front of him. So we click Recover. Brings in this Pex. I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna again heal back up. Get back up to a decent amount. Click Dragon Tail one more time. He goes for the Skull, trying to get a little bit more chip. I'm okay with just slowly phasing this thing out because look, we're able to get we're able to get this thing back in. Uh, I'm going to click Dragon Tail again. Do not want you uh, healing up on me. Do not want you healing up on me. As he went for the side Shock. Cool. Again, slow, a small bit of chip every single time. Now, because I know this Rotom has got a little bit of defensive bug to him. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go to my Rosary. Just get rid of these Toxic Spikes. See what he goes for. He, goes for, he gets rid of his Spikes there. He's like, I am sick. Sick of these Spikes. <laughs> Which is fine. Uh, Rosary, I think, can kill here with a... Sludge Bomb, even an extra, even an extra sensory, uh, but I am just going to go for the Sludge Bomb, get a safe kill. One, I'm really curious, does he go out into the Uniclus? If he goes out into the Uniclus, I can start scouting, is he actually a Saw Fest? Because if he's a Saw Fest, different, no, he's not a Saw Fest, he's got Calm Mind. So, it's really about, has he got Cobra buried there? That's the real question. If he does, then we can put a bit more offensive pressure on it. But we, uh, he got rid of our hazards. Look, it sucks, not great, but it is what it is. Go for the Sludge Bomb. Pick this thing off, and I think we could probably just start spamming Sludge Bomb on Reuniclus if it comes in and get worn down. He does sack this Rotom, so another man bites the dust there. He brings in this Lando. I could, I could save this for Pex, but do I need to? Because I got Ladio, I've kept Ladios in the back all game. So with that in mind, do I want to go for Spikes? Like with Pex with Regenerator, Lando T doesn't heal from it, and Magic Guard on Unicus. Don't think I need to. So I think I'm going to go for the Leaf Storm and see what happens. He does U-turn, gets the crit. Is what it is. That's fine. Rosary, you did loads of work here, girl. You did fine. You, br you bring in this thing. <sighs> part, of me really want, part of me really wants to bring in Latios here. Can I do it? Can I bring in Latios here and just break through this thing? Set up two calm minds. I think we do. I think I do it. I'm gonna go. For, I'm, go I'm gonna go for it. And I'm gonna set up a calm mind. He does bring this for Uniclus. There we go. Um. Now I know he's got Shadow Ball here. I think I just go for the pulse now. And we just go Dragon Pulse right now. He brings in the Lando T. Yeah. That's GG. I think that's GG. I think that's GG, yeah. I think it's GG. Uh, I think I just kicked Dragon Pulse here. Um, yeah, two shot. Doesn't matter. He's not Regenerator, he's ma he's Magic Guard. So that's GG's. It's GG's. Almost making a mistake on Surf. Cost us dearly. Cost us dearly. A couple of psychics, psychic, psychics here should kill Pex, or does. 
It does. GG. Damn. Oh, beautiful stuff. We grabbed the win. We needed that win so, so badly, you guys. But we're two and three now. That's honestly, that's way more better than what I've been playing at. That's probably the best game I've had since my comeback. That particular game. We were just so much more on our game and I know you guys probably think that wasn't the most entertaining or fantastic or whatever Because I was doing a lot more calcs and going back and forth, but oh, If we want to do well in this league, we, I need to start doing that and I've noticed it um, I, I, like, I took a few days to just take a look at myself and like right what are we doing wrong here? Not analyzing what's happening Big big problem and I gotta start doing it. Gotta start doing it a little bit more and as you see we're picking up the dubs and look I make the video videos entertaining in post if I can. But I think that's the big, big thing. We pick up the 4 0 win, 2 and 3. We're back in business, baby. If we can pick up another W next week, we're back to 500. And the league is wide open there if we can make fail. So we'll see what happens. The GG Wolf Thirds, thank you so much for coming out, uh, have, coming, having a battle with me. Uh, if you want to see his profile on the Draft League website, link is in the description down below. I have that in uh, for all the coaches uh, that I play against um, each week. So I've forgot to mention it but yeah i'm gonna wrap it up here there folks oh so again quick plug if you if you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel please do so smash like button click that sub button and click that bell icon as well we have two leagues on the channel now and the last but not least if you have if you're not checking me out over on twitch definitely please do so we're playing competitive mods on twitch whether it be on showdown or where we're playing wi-fi battles check that over there guys i need help <laughs> so definitely come out watch me fail or help me out one or the two it's entertaining but yeah guys i'm gonna leave it there as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.